Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and another video about prop firms. Hurrah! So before we get going, if you can hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, if you do like it of course, and yeah, hang around to the end because there's going to be some great content all the way through the video. So this is a prop firm that I've been aware of for quite a while. I've looked at their programs but not really wanted to go forward with it because it wasn't really what I was looking for. But they've now announced they're doing a free evaluation process. So yeah, you've heard that right, absolutely free. You only pay when you've actually gone through all of the challenge phases and actually get into a funded model, and then you actually pay the $300 fee to them. But what I thought I'd do is sort of dig behind the scenes a little bit, because as always, when things are free, there's always a bit of a catch. They're never always quite what they seem. So really, I want to sort of share with you guys what I found, where some of the pitfalls may be, and also where they'll probably end up making more money by giving free evaluation things and getting people to fail this one and go on to their fully funded one as more of like a, a better way of getting to the actual end goal. So first of all, to get to the funded actual part of the account, you need to pass three challenge phases. So you start off with a $25,000 account and you need to make 10% return on that with no more than a 5% drawdown. And then when you get that, it increases up to a $50,000 account. Same things, you pass that rule. And if you then go on to the next one, a $75,000 account. Again, if you make 10% on that one, you get passed into the $100,000 funded account with a 50-50 split. One other rule they've added is you need to make a minimum number of pips return. And that really is to try and make the traders a bit more consistent. And rather than just going out there with a huge lot size, going out with a literally trying to get a 10 pip move at a 10 lot size, for example, they want to make sure you get a minimum of 400 pips in that particular trading period. Now for me, it's just another set of rules you need to abide by. It's not a, a biggie, but for some trading styles and some traders, that might be a significant negative for why they want to go for this particular challenge and therefore why they'd probably want to go for the other funded model and therefore pay up front to be able to go through the challenges. So if you are able to pass these three challenge phases and get into the funded account, that's almost equivalent of starting on the normal program on their $20,000 account at $875 you have to pay for the actual challenge itself. So you can see there's a significant cost to benefit from doing it this way, but also you have the more restrictions on number of pips you have to make. The drawdown's not quite as good. I think it's 5% as opposed to 6% on the other accounts, as well as profit targets are the same at 10%. So they've pitched this funding program at the, the top 1%, the real elite traders who can show that discipline and that focus over a long period of time. That's why you have the three evaluation phases, you have the 400 pip target phase on the, uh, the challenges, and you also have to make sure you trade for a longer period of time to get where you need to be. It's not the quick big bang, get funded uh, and move on from there. So they're really looking for that top 1% of traders who can be disciplined and focused for a very, very long period of time. Now they also say that it's not easy. This is probably one of the more difficult ways of passing and getting a funded account. But as always, the more difficult it is, the more rules are to catch you out. I think one of the ones that will catch people out very quickly is it having to place a stop loss on all trades and all orders. Now we know as traders, we always have a stop loss in place. We always wanna mitigate our risks and only have a small amount of trade exposure. But what I often do is place the trade live at market but don't always type in the actual stop loss values. I actually go back in after the event and manually put that in and therefore adjust it up and down as I see fit how the trade is actually working out. But here, if you go in and don't have that stop loss in at the point of execution, I think they'll actually come back straight away and say you have failed on this one particular rule violation. Now you could put the stop loss anywhere. Let's say you are shorting gold at the moment, uh, prices at $1,900. You can go and put a stop loss in at $3,000 when you're placing that trade. You're not going to get triggered. You're not going to use up any more margin because of that. And it allows you not to violate that rule. You can then go in after the effect and actually move that back down to where you really want to have your stop loss. It just allows you to not violate that rule and make sure you're not kicked off the program. So one of the other rules they have is you're not able to trade around high impact news events. And I know from speaking with traders in the past, they hate this because those are the ones where the market is really volatile, it's gonna move. Obviously we can see huge pit movements in this sort of very, very short period of time. And obviously by putting that block in there, that rule violation, it sort of restricts what traders can do. Now I don't have a problem with that. I find that when you are trading around these particular events, they're so unpredictable, price could move anywhere, anytime and catch you out very, very quickly. 
So my personal preference is not to trade around these high impact news events and just leave them well alone. But I can definitely see that as a negative for a lot of traders. I think that's why a lot of people prefer some of the other evaluation trading programs where you are able to trade news or hold over the weekend. I think, um, but as always, it's built into the rules. There is no rush on this particular program. You can take as long as you want. There is no time limit. All you need to do is place a trade every 21 days to make sure the account is still active. But beyond that, you can trade whenever you want to. So yeah, it might take you two months to pass the first evaluation phase, two weeks or the second, months or the third, but there is no time limit. You can do it at your own time and avoid all these big high impact news events, avoid having to hold over the weekend, just trade in a consistent manner to make the pips and make the profit returns. So it does appear that when signing up, if you're already on the paid program, I don't think you can sign up for this free evaluation one. I think it's a one or other option. I'm not sure if you've gone for the free, you'll obviously then be able to go for the paid one. I don't think I ever restrict that. So I think what will happen is a lot of people will see this funding model and say, okay, fine, fantastic, it's free. I'll jump on the board and I'll have a go at that one. They will potentially fail very quickly, either on the drawdown, only at 5%, or stop loss, or any other the violation rules that they have in the, the program. And therefore think, okay, how do I get back into this? How can I accelerate this beyond having to wait another X number of months to better go through the challenge phases? And that's where people who have done this free evaluation will jump straight onto the paid evaluation. And therefore the fibers will make more money by enticing people through this one route but then get onto their preferred route, which is the more of a paid approach. So the question is, am I going to do it? Well, hell yes, of course I am. Everything that's free is good. And you do actually get access to the, uh, the Fiverr's community pages and some of their sort of trading rooms. So there are some free resources you get access to. You don't get access to everything like their uh, prop trading courses or their trading plans, which is okay. I'm fine with that because it is free. But what I'd like to do is just give it a go. Um, have it running in the background in some of my other challenges and some of my other accounts because there is no time limit. If I see a particular swing trade setting up, I can go for it and let it run for 100, 200 pips. That might make one, two, three percent and therefore allows me to get onto the percentage and onto the pips as well. As always, it's finding those high probability, high profitable trades and just have it as a, an additional challenge phase it's not going to take the main focus i won't be spending five six seven hours a day trading it it'll be occasional now and again just to get those big runners hope you've enjoyed my quick analysis and review of the the new summer plan the top one percent from the the fibers feel free to go and have a look check out their website i think you'll find a lot of interesting stuff on there and yeah i would definitely encourage you to sign up have a look at what it offers it's free why not see you all again soon cheers guys bye